time is six o'clock, and I'd like to call the meeting to order. Can everybody hear okay? Good. No? Can hear better now? Is that better? Can you hear it? No. Uh, okay, I'm going to turn this off and just talk loud. Um, so we're going to begin this evening with the Committee of the Whole Agenda. Are there any questions on the agenda this evening? Okay. Yes. Alderman Potter? Aye. Moyer? Aye. Schoonmaker? Aye. Waldron? Aye. Berg? Aye. Williams? Aye. Parker? Aye. Went? Seven eyes, no nays? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, this is a project uh, at Unity Point, and um, it's in final phase. Uh, they're asking for a final plot of subdivision approval. Uh, the motion should uh, read it uh, with a condition on more precisely identifying the second retention easement, and that needs to be done by the engineers. And uh, staff would move for approval. So there, uh, there had been discussion, Alderman Moyer, about making uh, the applicant here, the developer, take it all the way from John Deere Road uh, and over. The Plan Commission considered that request. It was made uh, by uh, Chris when he was still working here at the city. The Plan Commission considered it and rejected that. And so it's their decision to only confine the bikeway to uh, the particular lot that they would have been responsible for for the sidewalk. The rest of the bike path, we're applying for a grant to get that bike path. And so what's happening is on this plat, we don't show the bike path. They're paying the money for the bike path, which is an enhancement. It's greater than the sidewalk they're obligated for, but they've agreed to do it. So they're paying their portion for an expanded bike path. And if we get the grant, then the whole thing will be combined together. If we don't, then the city will have to decide how to spend the money that they're paying. Yeah, the site work will be done in anticipation of some sort of connection down there, but in terms of actually building the sidewalk, they're not building, or the bike path, they're not building any of it. The city will build it once we determine whether we got the grant. The obligation to pay is for the segment on lot two, which ends at 43rd. That's what the plan commission decided. Thank you. Are there any other questions for discussion? Roll call, please. Alderman Potter? Aye. Moyer? Aye. Schoonmaker? Aye. Waldron? Aye. Berg? Aye. Williams? Aye. Parker? Aye. Seven eyes, no nays? <laughs> Alderman Went? Yeah, All right. Eight eyes, no nays.
Alderman Williams? Present. Parker? Present. Potter? Present. Moyer? Present. Schoonmaker? Present. Waldron? Present. Berg? Present. Sorry, Alderman Wendt. I skipped you again. Alderman Wendt? Your Honor, I request approval of Committee of the Whole and Council Meeting Minutes of April 20th, 2021. Second reading ordinances. Council Bill 3009-2021, an ordinance amending Chapter 21, Nuisances in General, Section 21-3101, Definitions of the Mulling Code of Ordinances. Resolutions. Council Bill 1104-2021, a resolution authorizing a variance to Chapter 34, Water and Sewers, Section 2108, Separate Connections of the Mulling Code of Ordinances, to grant a variance to Section 34, Water and Sewers, Section 2108, Separate connections of the Mulling Code of Ordinances waiving the requirement of this at this time that Two Rivers YMCA located at 2040 53rd Street install a separate water service line to proposed golf driving range building, granting the petitioner property owner permission to continue sharing water service with a neighboring property until such time as more substantial development occurs on YMCA property and as a condition of approval requiring the petitioner, property owner, and successors and assigns to agree to connect to the water main at such time as the water main immediately adjoins such property and pay at that time the equitable share of such public main extension attributable to said property and to record these obligations against the property. Council Bill 1105-2021, a resolution authorizing the renewal of an intergovernmental support agreement between the City of Moline and the Rock Island Arsenal for refuse and recycling collection. Council Bill 1106-2021, a resolution authorizing the mayor and city clerk to execute and attest to an agreement for enforcement of the Illinois Vehicle Code and city ordinances on private property at King Plaza, 3624 and 3644 Avenue of the Cities. Council Bill 1107-2021, a resolution authorizing the mayor and city clerk to execute and attest to an agreement for enforcement of the Illinois Vehicle Code and city ordinances on private property of Rock River Plaza, 3901 and 3041 41st Avenue Drive and 3900 to 3930 44th Avenue Drive. Council Bill 1108-2021, a resolution authorizing the mayor and city clerk to execute and attest to a contract with Davenport Electric Contract Company for project number 1343-2021 road diet traffic signal upgrades for an amount of $111,970.56. Alderman Potter? Aye. Moyer? Aye. Schoonmaker? Aye. Waldron? Aye. Berg? Aye. Williams? Aye. Parker? Aye. Went? Aye. Eight ayes, no nays? Non consent agenda resolutions. Council Bill 1109 2021, a resolution approving the final plat for Unity Point 7th Street subdivision, a two lot subdivision at John Deere Road and 7th Street. Alderman Potter? Aye. Moyer? Aye. Schoonmaker? Aye. Waldron? Aye. Berg? Aye. Williams? Aye. Parker? Aye. Went? Aye. Eight ayes, no nays. First reading ordinances. Council Bill 3010 2021, an ordinance amending Chapter 22, Motor Vehicles and Traffic of the Mulling Code of Ordinances, by amending Appendix 33 regarding traffic regulations on private property. And that is all I have this evening, Your Honor. Thank you.
want to be in the front or in the back? I think you like. Please raise your right hand. I, Sangeetha Rayapati. I, Sangeetha Rayapati. Having been duly elected to the office of mayor for the city of Moline, Illinois. Having been duly elected to the office of mayor for the city of Moline, Illinois. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the state of Illinois and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Moline Code of Ordinances, and the Moline Code of Ordinances, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Mayor, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Mayor for the City of Moline, Illinois, for the City of Moline, Illinois, according to the best of my ability, according to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, Alvaro Macias, having been to duly elected to the office of second ward alderman for the city of Moline, Illinois, having duly elected to the office of second ward alderman for the city of Moline, Illinois, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Moline Code of Ordinances and the Moline Code of Ordinances. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Second Ward Alderman for the City of Moline, Illinois, according and, to the best of my ability. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Second Ward Alderman for the City of Moline, Illinois, according to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. I, Matt Timian, having been duly elected to the office of fourth ward alderman for the city of Moline, Illinois, having been duly elected to the office of fourth ward alderman for the city of Moline, Illinois, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Moline Code of Ordinances and the Moline Code of Ordinances. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Fourth Ward Alderman for the City of Moline, Illinois, according to the best of my ability. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Fourth Ward Alderman for the City of Moline, Illinois, according to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Ryan, 6th Ward Alderman. 
Pat O'Brien. I, Pat O'Brien. Having been duly elected to the office of Sixth Ward Alderman for the City of Moline, Illinois. Having been duly elected to the office of Sixth Ward Alderman for the City of Moline, Illinois. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Moline Code of Ordinances. And the Moline Code of Ordinances. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of Sixth Ward Alderman for the City of Moline, Illinois, according to the best of my ability. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of Sixth Ward Alderman for the City of Moline, Illinois, to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. your right hand and repeat after me. I, James Patrick Schmidt. I, James Patrick Schmidt. Having been duly elected to the office of Alderman at Large for the City of Moline, Illinois. Having been duly elected to the office of Alderman at Large for the City of Moline, Illinois. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois and the Constitution of the State of Illinois, and the Moline Code of Ordinances, and the Moline Co Code of Ordinances, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Alderman at Large for the City of Moline, Illinois, according to the best of my ability, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Alderman at Large for the City of Moline, Illinois, according to the best of my ability. Congratulations. <laughs> Your Honor, I would remind the council that if you haven't turned your name around so everyone could see your new position, please do so. Thank you. Okay. Um, our next item is business. There's a call to order. So I call this meeting to order. Uh, roll call, please. Alderman Williams? Present. Macias? Present. Wendt? Simeon? Present. Moyer? Present. O'Brien? Present. Waldron? Present. Schmidt? Present. 